Hi do folks, how you doing? Just a quick one. <laughs> and this is bizarre. I've been counting these as we're going and this is the fifth attempt to make this video. Fifth attempt. <laughs> Absolutely bizarre, there's something wonky going on. But anyway, it's a controversial one, as I keep saying, but you haven't seen that bit. And it is because I'm falling out with people left, right, and centre. But if that's what I have, I'm having a clear out as far as I'm concerned. The idiots to the left uh, will have the same sensible ones that can use the discernment to the right. Now we can all get fooled with shit from time to time, but once presented with new information, we have to look at it and decide for ourselves if we are being fooled again. Well, I'm going to present you with some information and we'll see where you go with it. I, <laughs> I'm going to stop in a second because I'm in a mate's van and I've just brushed a brush and it closed the mirror off so I'm going to have to slide across and open the mirror or probably get out and walk around but anyway I'm going to be getting into something real controversial it's going to trigger some of you and those that are triggered may as just fuck off because I don't give a shit I really don't give a shit I'm not looking after feelings at this point I'm saying it how it is so if you're dumb as a box of frogs and you're going to fall for this shit then you fall for this shit. If you're going to defend it, fucking defend it. I don't give a shit because the way I'm looking at it, more people are defending this bit of bullshit than are waking up and seeing it for what it is. What we're going to be discussing is the Blade Runner arm of the government. <laughs> or should I say the system? It's not the government per se, it's the system. <laughs> Problem, reaction, solution. That's what the system does. It creates the problem, you give the reaction, and it presents a solution for that. But what's happening in this particular one, as I say, the Blade Runner arm of the system, they've got everybody all tied up because uh, it resonates with them. They like it, and all the different things that they say, somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who's, uh, who's one of the Blade Runners. That's what I've had recently and had a big fallout with a, a supposed Facebook friend and even got her to the point where she's calling me a narcissist which is the other MK Ultra fucking term that uh, was created to wangle in and split up families yeah get all the women calling all men narcissists you're going to be arguing you're going to be falling out and before you know it more fucking separations so uh, yeah that one took off a treat but anyway yeah I'm a narcissist for having my opinion and not fucking bowing down to the fact that she knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who was one of the twats who were cutting down um, cameras. Now, I'm not saying the ones that are actually doing the cutting are the government. It's MK Ultra. As always, they get us doing everything. It's, it's never there. Or they start it, should I say. I would presume they sent the first one or two people to cut a couple of cameras down and then people just take up after that. It's, it's a, a revolution, isn't it? Um, and we like revolutions, we fall for everything, like the protesting. They, they create protests to get you down there and tell you how to stand in a street and fuck the people up when you really want to be fucking a government up. Uh, it's funny, as I've said before, you got Dennis Skinner many, many years ago, uh, a politician who, who claimed in absolute that the people had been taught to protest incorrectly or inefficiently, should I say. And what he also said was, they don't realise if a couple of hundred thousand well-motivated men and women descended upon Westminster, surrounded the building and filled the halls, they would shut the government down instantly and they would end up getting their way. But people didn't get that and they won't get that and they'll still stand in streets and glue themselves to floors or whatever they do because they're fucking MK Ultra affected. Uh, absolute. Uh, and same with people who use the MK Ultra power words and those that defend the MK Ultra processors, as in the uh, Blade Runner arm of the system. Problem, reaction, solution. Now, uh, they are absolutely screwing with your head. You're shutting down travel, car travel. It's not going to be possible because they deem it not possible. It's bad for the environment, isn't it? <laughs> Um, the jets aren't though, but anyway, I'm not getting into that petty bullshit because that's just more MK Ultra shit. But the reality is, they are ending car travel or car ownership, 
they are ending fuels fossil fuels as they call them this is all going so why the hell do you think fucking ULEZ is real MK Ultra problem reaction solution they create the problem put up these cameras charge people 12 pound 12 pound they're gonna charge you MK Ultra motherfuckers you're gonna be afflicted over 12 quid charge that you don't have to pay it's, it's not a lawful payment it's not a lawful fine the Bill of Rights will tell you this fines and forfeitures before conviction are illegal in this realm try looking at it it's section 12 I believe it is under cruel and unusual punishments or cruel and, un cruel and illegal punishments I think I had a uh, Mandela effect moment with that because I'm sure it used to be cruel and unusual punishments but yeah cruel and, uh, cruel and illegal punishments now and uh, yeah under that section you'll come to fines and forfeitures fines and forfeitures before conviction which means you must be convicted before they can give you a fine or forfeiture think about it and Betty Boothroyd, the ex-speaker of the house, confirmed that also, that there had been no changes to the Bill of Rights. So those, and, and I'm not using this, I wouldn't use this because I wouldn't get a fucking uh, ULS charge anyway, um, travelling under my rights. So that's not uh, an issue to me, but for those that it is an issue with, I'm presuming you haven't got the, the knowledge to just deal with it or fuck it off. You could just return to sender before you open it, don't open it and then return to sender. That will fail but you could just return to sender before you opened it uh, which would be the easiest option and then you wouldn't have it it would just go back um yeah but either way people do not need to pay this shit so why are you getting up in arms about it i'll tell you why because you've been programmed to and you're seeing the uh the the system's arm known as the blade runners that they've named nice little catchy name for you there they do like to put a label on because you can run with a label can't you now you can get on board you can put it on a flag and you can fly it high because you support the government arm <laughs> known as the blade runners um yeah you're, you're falling for their mk ultra it is as simple as that and yeah fucking go for it let's have an argument about it let's fucking jump up and down and call me a cunt i don't give a shit fuck off idiots absolute idiots now you can fall for everything i don't it's one of these things i'm watching everybody fall for everything on 90 percent I call people idiots in general, uh, but I do know that there are some out there that aren't. Maybe you one, I, I would presume, as you're listening to me, you may have some sense. <laughs> or we may all be fucking stupid, who knows. But the reality is, there are some stupid fucks out there that fall for literally every twist and turn. And I've said this before, and obviously the last video, I believe, was called Every Twist and Turn. Because people literally fall for every twist and turn. Here's another twist and turn just like the cut down tree that everybody's up in arms about because you're meant to be up in arms because they cut down the tree because it was once on telly it don't matter about all the ones they cut down for to make way for your your 5g in the town centers and everything but this one was on telly so this one matters yeah <laughs> fucking idiots and you've got idiots coming out with the the narrative that's been pushed on them they fell for the bullshit this isn't a, just a saw this is a laser that's cut this tree down Really? Really a fucking laser? Lasers burn. Where's the burn marks on the tree? You fucking idiots. And also, there's a V cut into the tree, which means it was cut with a fucking saw, not a laser, or it would just be straight through. And like I say, if it was straight through, the both surfaces would be blackened from the laser. So, wake up, fucking idiots. People just, there's some stupid, stupid fucks out there. Anybody that's telling you it's a laser, just don't even engage, walk a fucking way because you're talking to a fucking idiot. You can plainly see with your own eyes, there's no sawdust. Yes, there is. So wake up, wake up. Maybe you're looking at photos from a few days later when the majority of the sawdust blown away. But look at the wide angle photos of the area. You can see sawdust floating around, sitting on the floor. So reality again, people are fucking stupid. All it takes is a fucking meme, just any old meme or a stupid ass comment from a fucking government agent shill or one inflicted with a government agent shill as a buddy or something and then everybody will fucking repeat it like it's fucking gospel you don't need truth most people don't need truth they need a fucking meme a meme is all the evidence they need and with a meme you can go into a court of law and win this case <laughs> that's what I'm seeing because people know but, you know, these people that bounce around from one fucking agenda to the other, falling for literally every twist and turn, 
they write until they're wrong and then they move on to the next one and they write until they're wrong and then they move on to the next one and this shit keeps going over and over and over again this is mk ultra you have been afflicted if you cannot even look at new information being presented when you've convinced yourself of some bollocks you're stuck in mk ultra land so hey believe what you've got to believe but if you're really afflicted with these fucking Blade Runners, you're aligning with them, you don't know what's going on in this world. You don't know how this world works. This world does not work the way you think it does. And I'm talking to people that kind of know how this world works, but they forget it when they fall for each individual one. And I'm talking to people, like I say, who absolutely know and are fighting and trying to push and trying to wake people up and make them realize that this shit is all bollocks and then all of a sudden the next big thing comes out and they fall for it it's like the covid bollocks the death jab all over again people are falling for the bollocks you don't forget most of the fucking world went and got four death jabs four not one four against all logic against all the people that was warning them they still went and did it and my old man's laid in fucking hospital right this fucking minute no idea if he's going to survive it but death jabbed up to motherfuckery and yes, I warned the fuck out of them, but I was just conspiracy theorist. I'm a mad conspiracy theorist. Well, they fucking know now. They believe me now. But saying that, they'll get told they need another jab and they'll probably have another fucking jab because that's what MK Ultra motherfuckers are. My own family are afflicted with it. So before anybody takes too much of offence on me calling them an MK Ultra motherfucker, know that I call my own family it. So get over it. If you're fucking afflicted by MK Ultra. You are an MP Ultra afflicted motherfucker. It's as simple as that. Dumb as a box of frogs. Absolute refusing to look at reality because you've been programmed and you're not interested in breaking that program because that would mean you've been fooled and your ego's in the way. So you can't you can't get over that shit. It is what it is, but people are fucking stupid. I've been saying it for an awful long time. It ain't changing. They ain't getting any cleverer. They're getting thick as big shit. Make two short planks look like a fucking computer. And it is what it is. It's really sad and it's really infuriating at times as well. I, uh, as I'm dealing with my own family with it. It's not just a case of the people I talk to on a daily basis. It's my own family. As with most cases, most truth is out there. And like I say, there are some really, really good people out there. They really are. I know some fantastic people. But the majority of people are fucked up with MK Ultra. They've been working on you for decades if not fucking centuries let's face it this time round if anybody knows out about the resets which most of the people watching this probably do will probably realize that it was created this way this time round and probably the last time round and probably the time before that they do keep resetting it killing off the population because they don't want people to wake up naturally they need to wake you up they need to wake you up into the false reality the false narrative not the not the next period because people think they've got it all sussed out what's coming next no way forget it remember twists and turns they're not going in a straight line they're going to fool you every single step of the way so you think you know what's coming i guarantee you you fucking don't We're, we've got loads of us that think something um if you look at it we all think something slightly different some of us think things totally fucking different the people out there that think it's just going to go poof and we're all going to wake up in some sort of 5d experience in another realm mk ultra sorry folks mk ultra is what it is i don't care who thinks what we are in a construct this is created but it's a fucking lunatic asylum in my opinion we're trapped here we need to get out and that's at the point of death we don't go in the light but that's another thing because i'm not going into that shit because it just lays rise to more fucking mk ultra motherfuckers to stand up nee, 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 nee. We can just close our eyes and manifest our way out of this shit. Well, off you pop, get it done. That saved me doing anything, fuck me. If one of them could do that, I'd really appreciate it. I talk to people all the time and there's so many people that tell me we can manifest anything we want. Go on then. Go on then. Because I think most people are having a really rough time with this shit. So if any one of them can manifest anything they want, please do manifest it for everybody. Because that should be no problem because we can manifest anything we want. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure uh, 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 right now we're thinking of what to say next, but that isn't what we said first. So let's be clear about what we can actually do 
as opposed to what you think or thought we should be able to do if we could and we can't. So why say we can? Whew, that was a one, wasn't it? <laughs> I, look, MK Ultra is real. You can look it up, you can look about it. It's been going for an awful long time, a god awful long time. And they've been paying the best minds with unlimited funds for an awful long time to teach them to fool you. Why do you think you're better than the best minds in the world that are paid with unlimited funds that have been going since way beyond the days of MK Ultra? Look it up, see how long ago it was, work it out. They're pretty good at what they do. They've been doing it for fucking eons. They know exactly how your mind works. And let's face it, most people, even in the truth movement, most people are complete fucking idiots on the internet. I'm seeing this one, this ball, balls me, galls me. Uh, <laughs> this one, it blows me away. People who claim to be awake, people who claim to know what's going on, and people who even say the very same things I do on these artificial intelligence groups that are analysing you, profiling you, and taking all your data. <coughs> We're asking incessant questions, just stupid, innocuous questions that everybody, oh, oh, I know this, I know this, so you fucking answer it. And it's all about you. It's all about building the profile against you and giving your data away. And you fucking love it. What's your earliest memory? What's this? What's your favourite food? What's your, what do you do? Why does go? What's the greatest cause of divorce? And what's this? And it's on continuous basis. These, oh, excuse me. These artificial intelligence groups are not stopping. They are getting worse. They are showing themselves to be artificial intelligence now and people aren't getting it truth theory mind unleashed lad bible all this shit asking you constant profiling questions and you're dumb as a box of frogs even my friends i'm seeing answering these like they think it makes them clever like it thinks it makes other people believe you're clever it's artificial intelligence asking you questions to profile and get your data why the fuck would you sound intelligence by answering them why do you think your opinion on what uh, is the reason for most divorces today? Why do you think that matters to the world? You're telling strangers, you're answering it to strangers and artificial intelligence, which collecting your data and profiling your mind and your, your psychological makeup. Why do you think that makes you sound clever when strangers are reading this as well and you never read back to look at it? It's gone. You just make these comments and fuck off and go on to the next one. It's artificial intelligence, fucking, you've already been programmed, now it's just collecting the fucking data from you that you're programmed to release, and you're falling for it. My fucking good friends are falling for it. People I see on a daily basis, people I, I, I do things with in the truth world, fucking do it. Seriously, if you've got to answer that shit, answer it with something either pertinent, like taxation is theft, or telling people that, uh, that this is artificial intelligence profiling them, get the fucking word out. I have noticed that the more you put and the more precise you put what it is, you end up with those invites to a telegram psycho uh, psychedelic group. That's artificial intelligence, just fucking playing with you. It's telling you basically, you shadow ban, nobody saw that comment. So adjust what you say and how you say it. I would say I get that on, on probably 50% of what I say because I have something to say to it. If you're not trying to fucking wake these people up and shake them, but in reality, they need to go stand in a corner and give their heads a fucking wobble because they're doing it themselves and they should know fucking better. I, I know they know better, but then the MK Ultra motherfuckers and the showers are they're afflicted. They go answer fucking questions on the profiling groups. Fucking what you're doing? Wake up to the world. You got fucking people cutting cameras down and nobody can even imagine that the system could possibly create that. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Why? Really? Wake up. <laughs> Go and get your head a wobble. If you don't know why they'd do that, you've got no right being in the truth movement. You've got no right trying to spread any truth because you don't fucking know the truth. That's the, that's the cold hard reality. Again, absolute fucking stupidity. It is bizarre. We're having a right fucking rant today, aren't we? Jesus Christ. This is a good old rant. But I've got to tell people, because as much... As I, I love people, I think people are awesome and and I've got fucking good friends and I've got fucking bad friends and I've got, as we all have, and I've got 
a fuck ton of acquaintances and I think I could probably count on my fucking hands who have actually got a clue who have actually learnt some shit and not falling for the next one and it comes out I probably can't I could probably count on one hand who's not falling for the next one almost every time it comes out but initially you can fall for it I don't fucking hold anything against anybody who falls for something because we can all be fooled and like I say, the best minds in the world are paid with unlimited funds to fool you. So, you can be fooled, absolutely. But if you're going to stay fooled, then you're a fucking MK Ultra motherfucker. Because at some point, you should snap out of it and go, Oh, fuck, yeah, of course, I've just been out again, Anta. This is what they do, this is how they do it. But no, that's not what we're seeing, is it? People are doubling down. When they realise they could be fooled, they double down and cling on to it a bit fucking tighter. Wake the fuck up. You're afflicted with MK Ultra. They got you. They got you. It's not the end of the world. You can wake up and snap out of it. Or, by choice, you can stay in it and double down. Your fucking choice entirely. I don't give a shit. I am going to start having a proper clear out of, of people who are afflicted with MK Ultra because, as like my Facebook groups, I don't need thousands of people sitting there listening. I'm not, I've not got the ego to need thousands of people looking at me and hearing what I say especially if they haven't got a fucking clue themselves and they're stuck in the MK Ultra world they're just falling for every twist and turn what the fuck do I need that for like I said I've had a fall well like I said I don't know if I've said on this one or the five times before I've tried to or four times before I've tried to actually make this video but uh, I've, I've fallen out with a, a, what, I, what I felt was a, a fairly long term Facebook friend it's, it's not friendship as friendship I've never met her but I've been on Facebook with her for a long time and we, we aligned with a lot of what we said. But uh, MK Ultra motherfucker. Because she knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows a, uh, a Blade Runner. So they've got to be real. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's kind of how they do it. They get the real people doing it. Who do you think was injecting the people last year and the year before and the year before that fucker? Who was, that? Who was the one sticking fucking swabs up fucking noses? It weren't Klaus, was it? <laughs> they were sticking Klaus up your nose but it's us it's the people they always afflict people with MK Ultra and them are the idiots that do the jobs do the bidding of the system now this one I can absolutely see how they've been drawn Blade Runner's got drawn into it all the system have to do put these cameras up cause a load of controversy have people all throughout the internet talking about it calling this this uh, Euler's shit out for £12.50 £12.50 people can't afford £12.50 don't fucking pay it then don't pay it then it's unlawful they can't, can't they cannot absolutely cannot enforce it it's a load of crap wake the fuck up you got people going get car out get car out why 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 what are you going to get car out for imagine this right I don't know how old you are. In my day, it was Rainbow and Zippy and Bungle. Let's just let's just picture a minute. They're playing with Zippy and the puppeteer who's got his hand like that just trips and Zippy gets caught on the edge of the table. This is really descriptive. <laughs> Zippy gets caught on the edge of the table, rips his fucking head off. That's it, the hand's sticking out the top. What do they do? What do they, they get another Zippy. <laughs> That's it. They go to the cupboard and pull out another fucking Zippy. What the fuck do you want to get Khan out for? I mean, I, I can say, yeah, absolutely, get them all fucking out. But if you're not on about getting them all out, what do you want one out for? They replace him. If these people do not individually make any decisions whatso fucking ever. Not Khan, not, not fucking Rishi Sunak, not any of the, not Boris fucking Johnsons, not fucking David Cameron, not any of the cunts behind them, Theresa May, none of the fuckers, right? Winston fucking Churchill. They don't make any decisions whatsoever. They are the puppets sat there to fool you. And you are fooled. Get fucking Connor. Yeah, let's go and stand in the street and fucking protest. Let's hold up everybody, people, men and women, trying to get somewhere in the streets. Let's block them off. Let them get nowhere at all, because we're, yeah, we're going to fuck the people up, because we want Khan out. <laughs> MK Ultra motherfuckers. MK Ultra motherfuckers. Trained to protest. Trained to ask you fucking beg. 
beg your masters for longer chains. That's all that's going on. Oh, a proper fucking rant. But this, I think, is a it's a build up of I haven't been venting. So it's a build up, and I'm just going bang, have it. <laughs> but come on, folks, wake up, wake the fuck up. You're making all the wrong moves. You're making all the wrong moves, and I'm sure there are some out there making right moves. But 99.99999% are making all the wrong moves. You're falling for all of the wrong shit. You're, you're falling for every twist and turn and every which way the government tell you to go, you go. You go there because they tell you the opposite and we know that. And it's not always the opposite. Sometimes they tell you real so you fool you fool your back because you're not using discernment and that's the problem. Nobody's doing the due diligence, nobody's using discernment. Because if you use discernment, you've got, ah, oh, fuck yes, this is exactly what they do. This is how they do it. Problem, reaction, solution. I'm the one reacting so they can bring the solution. And they will. They fucking will. Reaction, they taught a load of people to cut the fucking cameras down. What's the solution? More regulations, more regulations, more regulations. Begging for it all the fucking time. Rule me, master. Rule me, for I am your slave. <laughs> Wake the fuck up. Come on. What can one man do? I said, fucking 10 billion fucking people. It's painful. And, and we've all seen the... the uh, pictures of the, the tabletop with the elite all sat round with all the piles of money and the fucking games of shit going on it. And it's on the backs of the people and all we have to do is rise well that is all we have to do but we're not going to rise are we we're not going to do it as a people as a masses because as we know 99.9% .9 of people are so fucked up they're too far gone they're not going to come back from it they're absolutely not like I said before four jabs in they get told to have another they'll be queuing up for the fucker you know it you absolutely know it maybe you won't but the next tree they ch chop down or the next thing that they do, the next beating they give, the next fucking man that's killed on the street by a copper. It doesn't matter what it is, there's always something from blowing up fucking buildings with thousands of deaths and everybody knows it's not even a fucking secret anymore. If they won't fucking rise up for that shit, what do you think they're going to do for cutting a tree down? Cut a fucking tree now. That's genius, you know what I mean? I can imagine them sat around the table, what should we do next? Well, we've blown buildings up, they did fuck all about that. We've, we've blown buses up, they did fuck all about that. We've bought in this, we've, we've death jabbed most of the people and they were happy for it. And, and they still, even though they're fucking dropping like flies and all fucking, most of them are afflicted with something from it, they're gonna have the next one because they're dumb as a box of frogs. So what should we do next? I'll tell you what, let's just cut a tree down. Somebody sat around there going, you what? Let's just cut a tree down. They're fucking stupid. We cut a tree down, say some 16-year-old's gone and done it, uh, and then put a, an alternative one out. How could a 16-year-old go and do that? It's ridiculous. They cut it down with lasers from space. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, let's, oh, let's give that one a go. Yeah, because they fell for the aliens. They fell for everything else. Yeah, let's... Uh, we found this fucking alien this big, yeah. We found that. Let's show that now. Now we've openly discussed aliens. And we're discussing it more and more. So yeah, the alien invasion is on its way, but they're gonna have you a few more times first with other things. But here we go, let's just see how far they got. Let's just cut the fucking tree down. <laughs> you fucking dumb cunts. Oh my God. Anyway, anyway, as I say, it's a fucking controversial one. Let's hear you. Are you fucking, uh, are you triggered by it? Because if you are, just fuck off, fuck off. Leave your nasty shitty comment because you've got to because you're a fucking idiot. You MK Ultra, so you can't just fuck off. So leave your stupid comment and then fuck off. But you're not going to do that either, are you? No, you're going to leave your stupid comment, say that you're fucking off, and you're going to stay there to watch my next one. <laughs> you know why? MK Ultra. <laughs> Dumb as a box of frogs. So yeah, those that can change the mind when uh, when presented with new information have a look at it make your own mind up you do your due diligence and do your put your discernment to it and, and if you still come up with uh, with five out of two plus two then it's five what can i say go for it because i'm gonna have a fucking clear out so best thing just fucking make yourself known to me on facebook or something because there's far too many on there that are fucking idiots 
I need to get rid of. So if you are one of the idiots, just, just make yourself known on there so I can fuck you off. Or just quietly fuck off and let me see the numbers go down because it's just stupid. I've got too many fucking people who go, yeah, 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 no. <laughs> and I don't need you to believe what I say. You fuck, I don't give a shit. We're all fucking equal. <coughs> I don't know everything and I can be wrong as the next man. Do your fucking due diligence and put your own discernment to shit. I have. And if you're afflicted by something, don't let your ego double down. Realise it and know that none of us are infallible in this world. Best minds in the world, paid with unlimited funds, and now backed up with AI to fool you. You've been giving your fucking data and your fucking answers to these stupid questions long enough. They've got you profiled. You absolutely know it. All the shit we've all said on Facebook anyway, we're all fucking profiled. Don't think for one minute I think I'm not profiled. They've got me down, but what they've got me down as, undoubtedly, is ain't gonna fall for your bollocks. So, and I don't care if I'm wrong a hundred times. I really don't. If I call somebody a shill and I'm wrong, I don't give a fuck. If I say that this is happening in the system, I'm wrong, I don't give a fuck, because there are zero consequences for being wrong this way. If you're overcautious, and you're wrong on the overcautious side, there are zero con consequences. Somebody's got triggered, somebody's an idiot, and fucking you might be a fool at some times to somebody, or you might be a total gimp, it don't matter, it is what it is. But there are no consequences at all for you being wrong other than people's feelings getting hurt. I don't give a fuck about people's feelings. But the consequences for being wrong the other way, for falling for their bollocks, are dire. They're fucking dire, and I don't need to go through them. So do your due diligence, use your discernment, and if you genuinely can't see what's blatantly plain in front of your face, I can't fucking help you. Like I say, controversial, and by fuck, we've had a rant. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it at that, folks, and uh, yeah, see what you reckon. If you're, if you're aligned with it, you're aligned with it. If you don't, you don't, that's fair enough. I don't need to fall out with somebody because they don't agree with me. I, uh, I've got loads of people I don't agree with, but uh, if you wanna blah blah and you wanna fucking kick off and get triggered by what I say and fuck off, plenty of people that are singing your fucking tune, go and fucking join up with the Pied Pipers, the shills, there's fuck tons of the shills. Absolutely loads of the cunts out there. They do it all the time, come out there and they've fucking wangled their way into your hearts and minds, haven't they, through YouTube. You'll defend them to the hilt just like you'll defend the Blade Runners, so, yeah, go on align with them fuckers. They're singing exactly what you want, what you want to hear. But anyway, on that note, folks, I'm going to do one. Shit to do, places to go and people to see. And I'm sure you've got some better things to do than sit listening to me have a fucking rant anyway. So, <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> Ta-da!